Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome to Into the Breach, a game I've been looking forward to playing for quite some time. Um, if you don't know anything about it, it's from the guys who made FTL subset games. If you don't know FTL, please stop watching me and go play that instead. It's a much, much better use of your time. Um, but this is a, a strategic game, much like... I won't say much in the same vein as... Um, FTR doesn't make any sense, but, um, you know, they were, they were both very strategic kind of games, and, and this one is more like a chess match, which I quite like. So the basic gist is you have these three mechs. Now, you, you do lose if you lose your mechs, but you also lose if you don't defend the pitiful humans. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take this guy and we're going to punch this guy directly in the scone. Yes. And then we're going to take this guy. So this guy is your... Let's turn the screen off, it's distracting. This guy is your melee unit, basically. This guy is your Rook. So a single piece shoots one direction until it hits something. This guy is your Knight. It's uh, artillery, but it can only go over things. It can't shoot the square next to it, but it can shoot the one over. So the, the strategic part comes in here, like this, okay? So this guy can shoot. Uh, and the way if I, if you can sort of see down the bottom left there, um, it shoots the middle square and then pushes the squares out around it. The punchy guy does a punch and pushes. And this guy is just a... Oh, it is a push as well. I forgot. Okay, so that's a push as well. But that one goes the entire length of the screen, as you can see by the um, orange squares. So, this is where the... I love this, where the strategy comes in. So I'm going to get a double kill here. I'm going to shoot this guy. He's going to die because he's got one health and this does one damage. And this guy's going to get pushed into the mine, and he will die as well. I mean, that's so good. It's so satisfying when it works. Dickhead. So the enemies aren't very clever, which is good for me. <laughs> so this guy, um, if you hold control, it's a, a one like my guy. It just shoots straight. So if I don't kill him this shot... He will either hit this guy, or he will hit this building, or wherever I push it. Now, I could push it so he sort of shoots down this way. That's easy enough. But I'm just going to, hopefully, just straight up murder him. Like so. And I'm going to put David there. Your pilots, uh, you can up upgrade your unit experience. You can upgrade things with pilots. You can also upgrade the mechs. And the game is based on a time travel kind of thing. But, um, when you time travel, you can only take one pilot with you. When a pilot dies, a pilot is dead, and that is the end. So, that, that's where the real, like, rub of the game is. So, what I need to do is, I need to kill this guy, but I don't think he's going to be able to move. Oh, he'll be able to move enough. Okay, so we'll kill this guy. We'll move this guy to here and shoot him into the ocean. So you also have environmental hazards, which is good. Um, things like water, acid, which does double damage, well, takes double damage, lava, and sand, which does smoke, which stops attacks. Sorry if you can hear the buzzing from my, my monitor. I'll move it over here. So this guy, uh, I'm literally just gonna... No, I'm gonna here and shoot him. So I pushed him into that guy, which wasn't the smartest of ideas. But, so it's because I wanted to punch him. And that's the end of the game. So victory in one turn, so that's the end. So it's like this um, really strange chess game. I quite like it. So over here, the corporate HQ is where the final battle for the island is. The stars are reputation, which is currency. The electric, the lightning bolt is power grid. So. You restore power grid. Once you get over the end, you gain defensive bonus on your structures. You lose power by your structures taking damage. There's also, you can get reactor cores, which are upgrades for your units. If you've played FTL, that's like your power. 
And there's also um, drop pods, which gives you technology from the future, past, another time. So I'm going to take out Old Town. So this has got air support, a bomb will periodically drop target, uh, periodically target areas of the map. So the goals here are take less than three grid damage and protect the emergency batteries. I think I can do that. So before I start, I already know what my strategy is going to be. This guy here needs to die. He, um, so what is it, which, yeah, so on all other VEC will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. So he needs to go first. This guy's just a normal guy, so that's fine. But see, he's got that little explodey thing on him. He's now volatile or explosive decay. So he'll, he'll explode and hit all the tiles next to him. That's really bad. My first, yeah, okay, there's a, there's a time pod. All right, and there's the airstrike. So this is a simple enough turn. So, oh, where is it? I don't know if when they go into the water it's going to explode and hit this. I haven't done that before, so let's... Oh, and it resisted, okay. So that's worked out fine. Um, so, see, bombs will be dropped here instantly killing any unit. So that's obviously not something we want to do. Um, what we'll, we will do is we'll get him out of the way over to here and we will take this guy, shoot that and drop him into the bomb range. So now he's dead. And then the next guy spawns. So there's all these different factors and it's so fucking interesting the way it all works together. So this guy's attacking that building, that guy's attacking him. Uh, if you hold Alt, you also get the turn order at the top right here. So fire damage is first, then the environment, then the enemy actions, two and three. This is extraordinarily important and I'll show you why. And then number four is the enemies emerge. So let's just say I push this guy over to here. So if he was number two and that guy was number three, this guy wouldn't get hit because this guy would shoot first and kill him. But unfortunately it's the other way around. So what we'll do is we'll just kill him. And you'll see here, if I move here, Vec, uh, if you look at the underneath my head, unfortunately, I'll read it out to you. Uh, Vec will emerge here next turn. Any unit blocking this space will take one damage. Uh, maybe I need to, like, move my head up. Give me one moment. Uh, into the breach. Tapa, 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 tapa. Um, I mean, I think there is the least intrusive. No. There might be the least intrusive. Yeah, that might work. Hopefully that's okay for you guys. Um, yeah, so if I go there, I'm going to take a damage, but this guy will not emerge. Alternatively, I'm going to bring this guy here and just push him into the water. I still need to move this guy, because otherwise he's going to die. But I'll... Let's, um, let's move this guy first. I'll push this guy into the ocean. So another thing you can do is you can actually hit your own enemies. Fucking dogs. You can hit your own units, sorry. And that's extraordinarily bad when you accidentally click. So what we'll do is we'll just move out of the way. I don't want to take damage stopping this guy emerging. I have an anti-barking thing. You think it works? So this guy, I can either push him over to here, in which case he'll take damage and stop the guy from emerging. Or I can just go over and punch him, and I'll take the damage from him not emerging, which I think is a decent idea. And, yeah, so I don't want to move any guys. We'll move this guy back into the center. So, the, the general rule is I like to keep this guy in a position where he can sort of maneuver around someone. This guy I like to keep as far away as possible, but also in a maneuverable kind of place. So we can go up and down, and this guy... You, you, he usually gets upgraded the quickest because he punches a living fuck out of everything. So like this here. What I want to do is I want to knock him into the ocean. Um, unfortunately, I can't stand there. That would kill me. Okay, so I can attack that. So what I'll do is, so this guy's safe here. You'll see he's got the uh, attack square on him because this guy's targeting him. So we'll do that. 
then we'll do this. Let's push him into the drink. And he's still safe, he's still safe. I, I always forget about the environmental damage and I always end up getting killed. So that's it, that was another perfect victory. That won't last forever. <laughs> so there's 500 civilians protected per map and every time you get hit you lose some. We've got a pod. So we've got ranged class weapons, launches two missiles da damaging and pushing two targets. And a reactor core. So reactor cores are your power. So that's this guy's weapon. No, it's this guy's weapon. So I can put that on there. So it looks like it damages one square each side. Now, that's not gonna be all that useful, I don't think. Oh, that's not a primary weapon. That is a secondary weapon, which I don't have enough power to use. Cause I only got one power grid I can give this guy. And always oh, remember to power your thing. I always, I forgot that once and I got absolutely fucked. Um, Let's go to the archival flats. So I'm just going to defend the train. This is a pretty easy, like, archetype. So once again, this guy needs to die first. Okay. So ideally... Now, we'll check out the turn order again, because the turn order is extraordinarily important. If I push number two down... He'll shoot nothing. But if this guy was to go first, he would shoot the train. But he doesn't. So, we're going to punch Explodey Man. And I don't have enough damage to kill this guy. So, I'm going to go over to here and push him. And I'm just going to leave it. Because there's no way I can use the artillery to hit him. I should have went the other way, but I don't want to reset the turn. You get one reset per, per engagement. I don't want to waste it because I do some kind of colossal fuck up. So these are all three health, okay. Oh. Alright. So this is another perfect one. So, one, three, two. So this guy is the one I want to die. Even better, okay. Try this. We'll leave him alone. We'll move him here. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen to that train. Should be okay. Yes. So this guy is going to shoot that guy. Then this guy is going to shoot that guy. And that guy is going to shoot the mountain. So that's where this like tactical game comes in. So he's a two health boy, I think. So that guy definitely needs to go. So the train's last. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna punch him. He's dead. We're gonna come here. We'll do that. So this guy is going to get killed by this guy. Which means... Let me just check the turn order again. So yeah, this guy is going to shoot this guy and kill him. But I'm not going to get hit. So, we will use this time to attack this guy. Hopefully I got that right. Yes, okay, cool. Awesome. Easy. I'm actually going pretty well. I fucked up a lot when I was playing this last night on stream. Right. So defend the artillery support or defend the tanks. Let's defend the tanks. So the tanks suck to defend. Right. Dad, look. Okay. Well, I already see a pretty simple solution to getting these two guys out of the way. Just use this guy. Oh, I can't, because the fucking tank's in the way. 
God damn it. Oh no, I can still shoot it that way. And he'll be shooting a mountain and he'll get hit by him. He'll go this way and I'll be shooting nothing. Alternatively, just punch him directly in the face. I can go down here, shoot him. And go down here and shoot him. That will also work. Because you don't want to be overrun. So that guy needs to die. Yep. Like post haste. And then I can shoot that guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be able to kill him. That's extraordinarily bad. Um, this may work. Yes. Okay, that worked. Can't really do much else. Because there's no real way to do what I needed to do. Bring him over to there. Bring him here. We'll leave it like that. Another spider boy. This guy definitely needs to die. Good. Got the right person. So we'll punch this guy in the face first and then kill him. Oh, the tanks are ready to go. That is fine. Uh, I just want the tanks to, like, leave. <laughs> like, the tanks do one damage, I think, which is great for having an extra damage, but they're also my objective. Right. Hmm. So that guy's got three. Shit. Kill him. Hmm. Not gonna be able to get this guy out of the way. Yeah, okay. That is less than ideal. Oh no, he's gonna take two damage from that because he's gonna run into the mountain. And then death. Aha! worked out quite well. So now there's three, the last three districts you can't get. They're lost. So now we fight the corporate HQ where you get the boss level. So there's the Firefly leader and the corporate tower we have to protect. So this guy, he does two directional goo that does four damage and that's really fucking painful. So we definitely want to minimize the effect that he's doing him, but we also want to kill him. See, this is fucking terrible. We need to push him, which is good, because he's next to someone I'm going to punch him with. All right, and we'll shoot him. And we'll free him. And, okay, that's definitely not going to hit anything, so we'll shoot him. Cool. So we're already taking him down to half health. Um, sometimes, see, see what I mean? Being defensive works, but he's being a bit stupid this turn, so... I'm literally just gonna, like, move out of the way. <laughs> so someone got upgraded. Probably the artillery guy for killing the big dude. Ooh, explodey man. I don't know if Punchy Boy's gonna reach. Well, now. No, he won't. God damn. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Shit. Sorry, the wife is out at the doctor and I'm just getting messages about it. Um, no, this, this will work, okay. Do that, then push him into the ocean. He'll explode in the ocean. So he's dead. And is asleep. And Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have any, like, extra shit. So we'll just go here, and we'll hopefully be able to punch that guy to the moon next turn. Right, that's perfect. I 
like that's actually a great shot. That's the end. That was a perfect island. I got one of those last night. It was actually amazing. <laughs> so, plus one mech reactor. So, perfect island. One free reward. I got kickoff boosters. Mech's game plus one move if they start. No, I don't like that. Uh, plus two grid defense. Or plus four grid defense. Or Lily Reed gain three plus move on first turn of every mission. That's... Seems pretty good. Solid David Patel. So what skills did you have? I don't think you had anything. No. So, now we get to spend our reputation. So we can actually sell this shit if we're not going to use it. We can actually sell <laughs> the pilot. Uh, smoke ones don't like Sidewinder Fist. Punch an adjacent tile and damaging and pushing it to the left. That's interesting. Science class. I don't have that class. Okay. Vice Fist. Grab a unit, toss it behind you. Okay. And I can buy some reactor cores and some grid defense. Um, what I might do is give this guy this. So he needs one more core. So we'll give him that. We'll power that up. Sweet. He is powered. Now I have nine reputation still. I don't need power, even though it will increase my defense. So I might, and I don't want any, any of these. So I'm just going to do that, to be honest. And I'm going to install it in this guy and give him dash. And I got one left. This guy's got one health. Oh, buildings immune for the artillery is so good because you can push people away from the um, the buildings. Hmm. Let's do dessert. Yeah, no one cares. Um, we'll do up here because we don't terraform the grassland back to desert. How the fuck do I do that? I'm guessing I have a terraformer. Yep. So you occasionally get special units to do stuff like that, like acid units or ice units or stuff like that, but um, yeah. So the snack is a special unit. So once again, not gonna be able to get him. He does um, shielding. This terraformer unit is under your control you need to turn grass tiles into sand tiles, okay. Sweet! That works out. Ah, cat hair. Gross. So I'm gonna punch this guy. As soon as you attack him, he goes back underground. This guy I'm going to bring over to here, and this guy I'm going to bring over to here to sort of get him ready. Little snack boy. So this guy is simple enough to take out, I'm just going to terraform. This guy I'm going to punch into oblivion and this guy I'm going to kill easy a flying unit attacking me and this douchebag attacking him so I'm gonna do this I'm going to go down here and punch this dude in the face. I'm going to shoot him. And I'm going to move this guy down to here. And hopefully that works. I'm unsure about that move. Because <clears throat> this guy's just attacking... Well, essentially it was me, but... Right, that's fine, I can kill him. 
So this guy's immune to being pushed and pulled, so I gotta be careful about that. So I can kill him. This guy's not gonna get over there to save these guys. So I think I'm in a little bit of trouble. I have to do that. Like, no doubt I have to do that. This I also have to do. Ah, no, it still doesn't help. I didn't give him rocket boost either, so... I guess I will punch that and hope for the best. It's the last turn. And I'm upset I can't kill him. Yeah, okay. So that's my first loss. That's fine. High threat detected, high threat detected. Cataclysm, what is cataclysm? The map will gradually break apart into a massive chasm. I'm gonna go down here. I think there's more chance of a pod in these like one and two reward missions than there is in three reward missions, so. And for the moment at least, pods are more important. I don't need um, power. I can block one guy coming up. I can't get over there. Are you absolutely fucking kidding me? God. What if I... Be a smarty. So he's dead. Is this guy's attack? The stab. Okay, so I can push him out of the way. I'm gonna punch him for one. So this guy's gonna die when this goes away, hopefully. And I block this unit from coming up. Son of a bitch. I should have realized that. I can't stay here to kill him now. So he's gonna survive. Gotta do it like that. And like that. And like that. Even though he's gonna take no damage. He's gonna take no damage. Oh no. Well, that's gone poorly. That guy needs to die, I'm not going to be able to fucking kill him. He's stuck. Ah, oh, good fucking god. This is going to suck. But he's dead otherwise. Yeah, this is so bad. This has gone very, very badly. Because of this fucker, because I didn't realize I wasn't going to die. I took a lot of damage. Right, um... I guess for now we'll just give you one extra move. And I guess we're kind of forced to do this one, aren't we? Get that power back. So, defend the solar farms, kill at least five enemies. I think I can do that. So that's an alpha. So 
Sorry, excuse me again. I know, very unprofessional. So that guy needs to be moved over, otherwise both these buildings are dying. That guy, I need to shoot the artillery back. And that guy, I think I need to punch. Or do I need to punch that guy so he takes a bit more damage and I can shoot that guy? Yeah. Alright. So that kind of worked. Well, it didn't kind of work, it did work, but... But now there's another two enemies emerging. Oh, and it's a Healy boy. Okay. So, oh, I, I can't even negotiate that. This guy can prevent three damage by doing this. Cool. And then this guy, I can just straight up shoot. Okay. So I, I need to kill, kill some fucks. So one of the weapons I've used a couple of times is a whip, electric whip. And it's really good when they're all standing next to each other or through buildings and stuff. I kind of wish I had that at the moment because that would have just gone whoop. It also would have got hit, so. Good fucking god. Okay. So, once again, I think we can do this. Avoid some damage. This guy can go over here and punch him in the face. And then this guy we can just kill. Okay, that's fine. So there's two guys left on screen with one coming out again. Oh, plus the snick. That's fine. Rot roll. So the snack needs to go. So. He's unaffected by push and pull. Perfect. Yeah. That guy needs to move. And that guy needs to move. Didn't kill five, unfortunately, but I, I didn't want to get lose any more power. So no reputation, but two power. That's good. Um, let's do this one. This. Oh, this thing builds up the land around it, okay. Otherwise, this would be like absolutely impossible. <laughs> oh, pod. So you don't have to actually grab the pod, you just have to defend it. As long as it doesn't get trampled. Okay, so this is where you gotta be careful. You don't wanna push them into the buildings. So we can... I can't do that, okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So let's do this. All right. So if they run over this unit, it's uh, it's cactus. That's fine, I can shoot him out of the way. Can't reach that dude. Shit. 
Ooh. Fuck yeah. That was awesome. Mark two for me. Good job. So I could literally just sit here and repair. I might actually just do. I grab the pod so it doesn't get destroyed. So this guy's got to go first. Thank you for moving right next to me. So punch to the face. This guy can just get shot and he'll go underground. That is the end of that turn. Good job. So we get the time pod. Pilot, Ralph Carlson. Gain two bonus experience points per kill, plus three grid defense, and 14 out of 50 experience. Okay. So, so there are two different classes of from what I've seen of pilots. There is one with two and then one with three skills. So I'm gonna dump this guy. Swap him out for that guy. But now I've lost a reactor, but I'll just install another one. That is fine. And this guy, yes, yeah, just gives one mech reactor. So those regions are gone. We're up to the corporate HQ. So this guy, once again, I need to focus on. So what does this guy do? Stabs three tiles in a row. That is extraordinarily bad, especially if he goes there. Apologies again. So we're going to move over to here and punch him so he's dead. We're going to move over to here, shoot him. We're going to move over to here and we're going to oh my God. move him away and injure myself. Reset. This is what happens when you don't think things through. I can push him up and then push him back. I think that's the intelligent play. He can move across the entire map. So put him there. Huh. Alright. What am I doing? What am I doing? The fuck am I doing? That was so bad. That was all me. Like, literally all me. I'm so upset with myself. So he can't do anything. Uh, buildings are immune though. So that was a much better turn. I'm honestly really upset with that turn. It was so bad. So I can kill him with a punch, and that will punch him into him, and then I can move him. Okay, that, this is an easy turn. Alright, easy. We're going to survive one more turn. This is pretty easy. So what we can do is... Ah, uh, oops. 
Thankfully, moves you can undo, actions you can't. That's worked out okay. It could have went better. Two mech HP, that's pretty good. I might take that out of HP and go to movement. Alright, so let's... We've got no reputation from that one that we've got. Heat Converter. Freeze the tile in front, but light the tile behind on fire. Smoke drop, I don't like. Uh, freeze yourself in nearby tiles. That could come in handy. And repair drop. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Okay, so you're staying. I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to have any use for any of these. And these are all single use. Friends in high places achievements. All right. So I'm just trying to think what we can do. I mean, having both of these guys increase their health seems, seems like a pretty decent idea. So now I can actually take on the final mission, which I'm going to do. If you play more, you get more, but you also, this scales up. So I might just like straight up start it. Yes, it is home. So just, you know, because there's no power grids here, they're gonna to to deploy some remote ones. I've gotten to this like three or four times and I keep getting destroyed. So there's volcanoes, there's lava, and there's a whole bunch of other shit. So this guy has to move. I think if I do this, yeah, it kills him and hurts him. So that guy's attacking that. I do... Oh, if I put him there, he's stuck. I don't think he can get across the lava. I want to get cute and push him where he's going to... Oh, he's not going to attack him. So let's not get cute. Oh, oh I should have... No, oh, that's, that's, that's okay. Now, when you lose, because I know what it's like to lose, providing your pilots don't actually die, um, you get to keep one of them. So this is volcanic rock. Anyone in that area will die. Oh god, that guy fucking sucks. So, fire damage first, then environment. And that guy I can kill. This guy I can push into there and kill. It's th that one's fucked. Okay, I don't think there's any two ways about it. So he's gonna die. Yeah. I, I, I don't... Yeah, he's gonna get caught on fire if I go in there. Which is not ideal. Um, and I can't sh push him where I want to push him. I can kill him, okay. Let's just do that. And this guy, let's just kill him. So this guy's going down, unfortunately. 
here. Those squares are instant death too. There's no two, three damage, it's just death. Ooh. Yeah, there's a goo guy. I think if you stand on it, it explodes. No, it explodes. Good God. Oh, what's the turn order? So this guy's going first. Let's push him out of the way. Good fucking God. He's gonna take one damage. Guess it's acceptable. Um, there's not really much else I can do. It's not gonna push him off the edge, is it? No. I mean, this is not an ideal turn. This is not. This, this final mission fucking sucks. I didn't push him. I've only got two power left. Ah, oh, this fucking guy. So this guy does a damage every turn. Alright. So what I need to do is free this guy. He's not free. than ideal. Otherwise, it'll, they'll take a damage. He's doing nothing. Everyone's safe. Okay. Oof. Now begins phase two. Which also sucks. I've never passed phase two. Jessica Kern. Yeah, thanks, Binary. You're... Yeah, so the bomb's gonna go off. That was a good place to put it. So these guys are also explodey ones, I believe. Fall here, killing any unit, and I believe that's going to go first. It is. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. Because if I lose two more power grid, it's game over. I've got to defend the power grid. So this guy has to move. That guy has to move. Well, they all have to fucking move. This guy can push in the way. Sorry again. If I push him over to there, they'll shoot each other, that's fine. Let's do that first. That guy's... oh, good god. Okay, this guy... I can push. Cool. And this guy I can kill. Right, so those two guys are going to shoot each other. This is less than ideal, but... Oh, he killed him, okay. 
that guy, that guy has to die. Crap. Of course, all three of the units I'm on. I'm about to kill him. Uh, actually... It's the order? Okay, now this, this... That will work. That was dumb. I have to do it like that, don't I? Fuck. Less than ideal. So this is what this guy does, does uh, damage on everyone. He's dead. Shit. 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 Fuck. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking I could punch him down and then shoot him back up. Those two guys are dead. This guy still fucking sucks. He's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm fucked. Unless I get a, a lucky resist, I'm... actually rooted. See what happens. Fuck! It was so close, so close! Fuck, that is the end of that one. That kind of went a bit pear-shaped at the end, didn't it? Uh, that's it. I will see you hopefully in the next one. Goodbye.